So now we're getting into where we have the triple option component to it. All right, I'll let this one play through so you can see the, the bind it puts. Early, you know, the previous presentation, we showed the same thing and we we're running uh, zone with the triple option. But here we get all the way, you know, almost a touchdown if he keeps his feet here. And why this thing spurts out. All right, so we've got a 4 2 box. We got our, I'll start with our two pullers for depth. All right, they're getting depth off the ball. They're getting depth off the ball and away from the offensive line that are actually engaged in blocks. That also drives me crazy, too, is like the dudes on the left side of the line, they have immediate threats that are going to be blocking guys. So if we ever have a puller that runs into them, I'm just losing my mind. I'm like, you could go, you can go back five yards. You can get, you know, you can get as far back away from those dudes as possible. There's no reason to, um, there's no reason to be that close to anybody up front. There's no reason to be crowding on your bucket step and be flat down. Plus, I think it's easier to get away and it creates better angles for you. Sorry, right, jumping around here. All right. So we have the pull read. So see, or excuse me, we have the give read. So see how the defensive end doesn't really, he crashes down a little bit, which maybe in zone that would be a pull, but because our track is wider, it's a give all the way. And they've got number five ready there for the option switch with our quarterback coming off this thing. Well, if you look back into the boundary, all right, we've got a log. It's, it turns in, it's from a trap to a log. We always say trap to a log, trap to a log. So our guard is trapping the defensive end. And because he doesn't you know, feel like he got inside of him, he starts running his feet vertical. And now he's square through there. Our tackle does an amazing job here. He gets around this thing and legitimately blocks both of these guys, which I say never do. <laughs> Please just block one guy. I'll be happy if you block one guy. Well, now I'm really happy because he ended up bear hugging two of them. Our running back reads it very, very nicely. Um, and then also our 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 down blocks are awesome here. Look at the left tackle. First step, boom, coming out. Foot, low knee, foot in the ground, drives that hip and glides off to number five who can't move because he's trying to defend, you know, zone and GT at the same time. Our center pins, it's an easy one. And this thing busts for a big run because, uh, you know, again, adding value. This play adds value to our offense because it now alleviates um, the, 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 our zone triple in those aiming points with uh, a further distant aiming point and the ability to really stretch the field. Like we're really stretching the field from the left, you know, from the, the boundary sideline all the way to the field sideline because he bursts off this mesh and uh, pitches it. I mean, that's another big play. So here, now we're going to do it where he's bringing the counter motion to it. So the previous play, this guy is lined up in the backfield. All right. Now in the in one before, you could see before where we ran it this way, right? Where he was blocking the dude in the uh in the boundary. Over the course of the game, you know, we set up the one where he's in the backfield in the sniffer alignment and we're running triple option to the field. Then we have him lined here we're running it this way on a double option and now we've got it where he's doing a counter motion to uh to b and gt triple to the field so he's coming here you know think about how many how much talking the defense has to do the ball is handed off because look at the read key read key is coming into the backfield vertical that dude the inverted defender to the alley there, the strong safety is screaming into the box to take away the triple option. And then this is just really nicely done with our offensive line. You can see the defensive end gets vertical into the backfield. Our guard with an easy kick out, our tackle pulls through. 
and it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup for a running back onto the safety. Now, I'm showing you guys this because, all right, this is as good as you can fit this play. All right, they, like, Val Dosta does a tremendous job of taking this guy to swipe across the center's face to be in this spot and the whip to be down there. Okay, so this is a tremendous job on their part, fitting this right and stuffing it. Now, when we're properly executing this, okay, we're still getting two yards on a perfectly fit play. Like they're in the right spot, right place, right time. Well, now we just set it up for third and short. And again, the movement that's coming here, look at the right side of the offensive line. They are building the wall. Everybody's over the, um, across the hash. The one thing though, okay, and this is how teams are really good at defending this, is if you look at that D tackle, as soon as he sees the center come towards him on the pin, he's swiping and he's going across for the tackle. If our right tackle sees this guy and blocks him, we're getting another two yards, <laughs> you know? But I just want to make sure that you guys understand they're not all home run threats to your counter spot. And sometimes, you know, right there, we might have been better suited just to run zone.